Okay, so are you ready? Over the next handful of videos, we're going to turn our attention to Pancake Swap. I have mentioned Pancake Swap a few times, I know, but let's dig down deeper, put it under the microscope. Should you put a pancake under the microscope? You know what I mean. And let's really have a little look at what it is, how it works, why you need to know this. So we'll go and do all this over the next few videos, okay? So let's start with the obvious question first. What is pancake swap? Pancake swap is a DEX, a decentralized exchange. Now, earlier on here in week four, in the further glossary of terms, we went through, didn't we, what a DEX was. Can you remember? I know it's a decentralized exchange. It says that. I know that. What does that actually mean? Do you remember? Testing you here. If you said something like it allows us to buy cryptocurrencies without needing any verification or ID, you are absolutely correct. That's exactly what a decentralized exchange is. There are, of course, centralized exchanges like Binance, and Coinbase that also allow us to purchase cryptocurrencies. But as you know, we have to get verified there and it links up to our bank account. And there's all sorts of ID and all the all, all sorts of different stuff. But PancakeSwap is decentralized. We don't need to do any of that. So just so we're clear, a DEX, a decentralized exchange of which PancakeSwap is a DEX, is a platform where we can trade, we can buy, we can sell cryptocurrency without needing any ID or any verification just with one or two clicks. You're going to love it. Now, we're going to be using PancakeSwap a lot, which is wonderful. Um, a few other quick things to go through about PancakeSwap. Uh, we can buy eShare at PancakeSwap. So, as you know, we can earn eShare, can't we? I love the fact that you're keeping up with this. And again, it requires sometimes, doesn't it, just a little bit of focus and to speak, you know, clearly and calmly. When, do you think that when, you, when you're when you sort of explaining this maybe to your, your partner, you have to kind of take a beat, don't you, to say the words correctly? So hopefully as I'm saying this, this is all still making sense. So let's just remain focused. We can earn eShare in the farm, can't we? And then we can stake it in the boardroom if we want to, to get a higher APR if it's over peg. And we're going to do more of that here in week four. But we can also go and buy eShare if we kind of want to speed things up. And we would buy eShare at PancakeSwap. Again, we'll come on to where that kind of fits in as we continue in week four. All you need to know right now is that we can buy eShare at PancakeSwap. Because I know a lot of people have been asking about that. We can also buy EMP. We can also buy BNB, which is great. Um, and lots of other cryptocurrencies as well. We can also swap crypto for different crypto at PancakeSwap. So again, we'll come on to all that. And here's something else that's very important. We can create liquidity at PancakeSwap, or to be more precise, create liquidity tokens, LP. Now, do you remember when we were talking about the Zap feature at EMP? I said to you, one of the wonderful things about EMP.money is they have this Zap feature, and with one or two clicks, that Zap feature allows the liquidity to be created for us. We don't have to do anything. And you also remember me saying that if we did have to go and do it ourselves, it's a little bit more... I don't want to say complicated, but there's certainly a few more hoops to jump through. What we would have to do if we wanted to create liquidity ourselves is we'd go to PancakeSwap, we'd create this liquidity, and then once we've created it at PancakeSwap, we go back to emp.money and we would stake it in the farm. The fact that the Zap feature, however, exists means that it, that's all done for us. But basically, there's another way of doing this at PancakeSwap. So we can create liquidity at PancakeSwap. All DEXs, there's lots of different decentralized exchanges, allow you to create liquidity. So whereas we're only talking, of course, about EMP.money, the more advanced you get in this, in this business, you might discover other DeFi protocols that you want to invest in. And the process is pretty much identical. They're all going to look a little bit different, of course, but the process at any DeFi protocol would be that you create liquidity and you deposit it in that particular DeFi protocol. And in most of the other DeFi protocols, they don't have a Zap equivalent, so you would have to go and do it yourself at a DEX, such as PancakeSwap. Does that make sense? But we don't have to do that here because of the Zap feature, but I want you to know that that is one of the features and benefits that PancakeSwap allows us to do. So we can create liquidity at PancakeSwap, but as I say, we don't really need to do it. But, 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 but... We can also remove liquidity from our LP tokens if we eventually want to cash out. So think about this for a second. Imagine you have got some liquidity tokens in the farm 
and they're earning you passive income. That's great. Now, eventually, you might actually want to take everything out of the farm and just cash the whole thing out, particularly if the liquidity tokens themselves have gone up in value. Of course, if you take it out, you're not going to earn daily interest. But obviously, you know, long term, you'll want to eventually remove your liquidity. So to remove the liquidity, we take out the liquidity tokens from emp.money. And then we will use PancakeSwap to kind of unzap, do the whole zap feature in reverse. Now, there isn't a button that allows us to unzap. So we would have to manually take our liquidity tokens that, remember, are made up of two separate assets and kind of break them in half. And then we would have 50% of EMP and 50% of Ethereum. And that would then sit in our MetaMask. But it's PancakeSwap that allows us to remove liquidity as well. And again, this is just an overview. Obviously, I don't expect you to know how to do it right now. But I just want to uh, share with you that this is one of the many benefits of PancakeSwap. And again, I keep saying this. I love you for learning this. Most people won't learn this. So where you are right now, sitting at your kitchen table or on your bed or in your front room or in your conservatory, maybe you've got the kids playing next door or maybe you're home alone. I appreciate you going through all this. So let's summarize. What did we accomplish in this video? In this video, we had a brief overview of what PancakeSwap can do. And of course, we're going to go and look at it uh, as we continue here in week four. And what do you do now? Tell us, Aini. Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Let's just jump straight into the next video. See you there. Actually, let me know how you're feeling, of course. You know I always ask this in the comments below. Then I'll see you in the next video. See you there in a sec.